All right, so now we're gonna go over setup and client one. So I'm gonna tell you things that I'm looking for, things that I'm grading on, you're gonna get points off for, um, stuff like that. So I already showed you where to find the candidate handbook. Um, they will read this to you verbatim. You will prepare your work area for your client and while they're reading, you stand still. You don't do anything. You can't touch anything on your table. You'll prepare your work area for your client. You will set up the universal supplies you will use throughout the examination. You will also set up the supplies for the basic facial section of the examination. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any procedures until the verbal instructions are given and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. They'll repeat all of that. Then once they get done reading it again, they say, you may begin. Every time you hear you may begin, that is your indicator to get started. So when you're very first starting, your hands are assumed to be clean before you go in the box. They do not have a sink with running water and soap for you to go wash your hands at. So they're in their head pretending you've already done that. They're assuming you already know before you get set up, you wash your hands. Um, this is one of those tea party things I was telling you about. They're playing tea party. So my hands are clean. I'm gonna go in my kit. So I'm gonna pick my box up so YouTube can see, but this would be done on the ground. You open the box, take the lid, and you can either turn the lid sideways like this, or you can set the lid up like that, okay? I'm gonna set my lid over to the side for client one. For client two, I do it like that so I can use my lid as a table. So I'm putting this back on the ground. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get out my three bags. It should be labeled on all four sides. You should have already put the liners in them before your test. So right now is not the time to be putting liners in. I try and put them in the same order every time. That way it's muscle memory. I put my soil linens to my, I'm right-handed, put it to my far right. I don't use that one the, as much. I use my trash the most, so I want it in my far left and I want items to be disinfected in the middle. Remember I showed you guys this liner was wonky. I did that on purpose. All right, my three bags are right in front of me. I can drop stuff in them as I need to. My station is still within reach. All right, so now I need to put on my gloves. So I'm gonna bend down. Sorry, you two runner, you can't see it. I'm not taking the baggie out of my box. I am simply opening the baggie with my gloves and taking out one pair of gloves, sealing the baggie, and it's kind of on the side. Now I'm gonna put my gloves on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is disinfect my table. And you can't use disinfectant without gloves. And I wear a size small in gloves. So now I need my barbicide wipes. I'm not actually gonna take these out because I don't wanna waste them, but you would take one out, keep this in your hand, use a barbicide wipe, disinfect your entire area, throw that wipe in the trash. I have to hang on to this because I can't put it back in my box and I can't put it on my table yet because I have to put a protective covering on my table. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my paper towels. This is why. I'm gonna get a couple of paper towels, put it on my station. This is a protective covering now. I can set my paper towels on top and put my wipes down right with my paper towels. Now I can get out 
the actual protective covering to finish the rest of my table. So I'm gonna bend down, open that bag. I'm not taking the bag out. I'm gonna take out one of the towels and seal the bag closed. It never came out of my box. I'm gonna open that towel. Now my entire work area is covered. Now I can get everything else out I need. So now I am going to get out my universal supplies bag and I'm gonna get my hand sanitizer. I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize my hands. When you sanitize your hands, you have to do this, this, is not allowed. You cannot touch the tip of any product, not just the hand sanitizer. This is something you will get points off for. Same goes for the pump. No one-handed pumping. You have to put one hand under, use the other hand to pump the hand sanitizer. So it needs to go like this, not like this, no wiping. Put my hand sanitizer down. Sanitizing all of my hands. I'm gonna finish setting up what I need. So I've got my water. Remember I said this is not the correct kind of water bottle. Get a different kind. And then I'm going to get out my first aid kit. Because, God forbid, I cut myself during my client's service. I need to have my first aid kit. This bag is getting sealed because it needs to sit on my station. So any bag that's gonna sit on your station has to be sealed at all times completely. And I'm also gonna lay this bag face up where you can see the label that says universal supplies. Put my first aid kit with that. So over here, I've got paper towels, water, barbicide wipes, disinfectant wipes, universal supplies bag, first aid kit on top, hand sanitizer over here. Did you ever tell if it was in the first aid kit? I have not yet. We'll get to that with client two. All right. So finally, I need to get my mannequin and my client one bag. Mannequin, I'm going to face them away from me. And I'm going to get my client one bag, set it out, put the lid on my kit, close it completely. If your kit is left open, that is an automatic fail. Um, and then your kit needs to go under your workstation. Over here to the side is considered a walkway, and that is a violation of safety. Behind you is also considered a walkway. At State Board, the tables are much higher and it does fit underneath. All right, so now I need to finish setting up for client one. I'm gonna open my bag. I'm gonna put my drape over here to the side. Then I'm gonna set up my products in the order that I'm gonna use them. Cleanser, exfoliant, massage, mask, moisturizer. Take out my baggie, put it over here to the side. Take out my fan brush and round brush, put them over to the side. Put my toner over here. This bag is going directly into the trash. It's not going on my station. It's not going back in my box. It's going in the trash. Yes. I can just go around and grab it. I just didn't want to take it. All right, so now I'm going to set out all of my supplies. So I'm going to put my stack of two by twos right here on the corner. And I like to go ahead and put a spatula with each product that I'm gonna need it for. So you actually need like three spatulas for cleansing. One, and I'll tell you why in a second. Two, three, one for exfoliant, one for massage, one for mask, one for moisturizer. So I've got my products, the spatulas with them, two by twos, toner, got my fan brush and my round brush over here. This baggie is now empty. It's going in the trash. So the next thing I do, open my drape, set it to the side because they haven't told me to drape yet. 
throw that bag in the trash. Now I'm done. So I wanna show them that I'm done. So I'm gonna sanitize my hands and step back to indicate that I have finished. Now, while I'm waiting for the rest of everybody to finish, I'm looking at my station. If I feel like there's something I can move or adjust to make my life easier, I will. So I probably will move my big bulky bag to the outside and I'll probably put my disinfectant wipes over here. Okay. So if I did that and I like move stuff around again, I would go ahead and sanitize one more time to show them, okay, now I'm really done. All right, so then they will read this. They will either say, all candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination, we will now proceed. Or they'll say, please stop working. You will prepare your client for services. That means drape. You will perform a basic facial. The basic facial will include cleansing, manual exfoliation, towel steaming, massage, and mask. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 25 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 12 minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. They'll read that again. Then they'll say, you may begin. As soon as you hear them say, you may begin, your very first thing should be to sanitize your hands. Before you touch anything, sanitize your hands. So I'm gonna sanitize. Now I need to drape my client because they told me I need to prepare my client for services. So I'm gonna put this on. These like to slide. If you notice your mannequin has a hole in the back. So once you put the cap on, slide it back a little bit and kind of shove the extra cap part in that hole. This part takes practice, y'all. All right, there's the head drape. Here's the neck drape. I like to pick the mannequin up, lay out the paper towel, lay the mannequin on the paper towel about halfway, and then fold the bottom half of the paper towel on their neck, tuck in a little excess on the side. If you had a hand towel that's really large, it would take up way too much room with this part. So right now I've got my head drape on, neck drape, I'm gonna start my service. So I need to show them first pre-cleansing. So it's advisable to have a little bit of lipstick on their lips and a little bit of eyeshadow when you first get to the exam, so you can show them pre-cleanse. So I'm gonna open my cleanser. I'm gonna take a spatula and a two by two. I'm going to get some cleanser, put it on a two by two, throw my stick in the trash. Uh oh, I dropped my stick. If this happens, put that down, that two by two down. I'm going to pick that stick up, throw it in the trash, sanitize my hands. Just like you should with a client. Do not leave anything on the ground. If you drop something, pick it up immediately because then it becomes a safety hazard. A little bit of this product goes a long way. Please don't be using tons and tons of cleanser and lotion and stuff like that. Like just a little, little bit. So I've got that little bit of cleanser on this two by two. I'm gonna kinda like rub it in a little bit. Now I'm going to cleanse the eyes. When you cleanse the eyes, you have to wipe downward and inward. The other eye, downward and inward. This is getting thrown away. Now I need to remove the lipstick or pretend lipstick. Remember it's a tea party, we're playing pretend. Second spatula, a little bit of cleanser on my two by two. This goes in the trash. Some of that product on there. 
For the lips, you do the outside corner to the middle, fold it, outside corner to the middle, trash. Now I'm gonna cleanse the rest of the face. One more spatula product. This time product goes on my hand. This spatula goes in the trash. Notice I have not double dipped a spatula. That's really important. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this cleanser because I don't want it to knock over. Emulsify that product with my hands. Then I'm going to apply it to my mannequin's face. Circular motions, effleurage movements to get the product distributed onto the face. Make sure it's not getting up their nose or in their eyes. Now I'm gonna take a two by two in my water and over my trash, I'm gonna put water on my two by two. And I'm going to emulsify my cleanser with water. So I'm gonna do circular motions. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Trash. And then it's time to remove my cleanser. I'm just gonna use a two by two to remove my cleanser. You might wanna use two different two by twos for this. Trash. I'm done with my cleanser. This is going in items to be disinfected. All right, now it's time to tone. Got my toner. Got a two by two. Open my toner over the trash, not over my mannequin or my station or the floor, over the trash. I'm gonna put some toner on my two by two. Put that back down. I'm going to Blot to, I'm gonna put blot, sorry, toner on my client's face. So no spraying, trash. I'm gonna exfoliate now. So I'm going to get my round brush. I got my spatula right here. I'm gonna open my cleanser. Put the lid down. Not my cleanser, sorry, my exfoliant. I'm gonna get out some exfoliant with a spatula and apply it to the brush. This goes in the trash. Then I'm gonna take my water again and I need to wet my round brush over the trash. I take off a lot of points for this. A lot of people miss this step. So I'm gonna start at the jaw, big circular movements. Avoid the eyes and lips. You got a question? I do, what happens if it Anything would fall like that, it almost fell. What would you do? Because Pick it up, wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe, okay. sanitize your hands. I'll make it sure, and you can still use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now I'm done with this. This is going at items to be disinfected. Now I need to remove the... What'd you forget? Steam towels. Ooh. Need to remove my exfoliant with a steam towel. Do not fret because I can get it out of my kit. So I'm going to sanitize my hands. I knew I was forgetting something. So you guys, I've been doing this for years and I still forget stuff. But it's in my kit. I can go in my kit at any time. So I'm just simply going to open the lid. As long as you sanitize your hands before, they won't. I've run out of room on my station, so I'm really like just kind of stuck and stuff at this point. Sanitize my hands again so I can go in the bag. Just like you would sanitize your hands before you go in the hot, uh, the towel cabinet for the steam towels, you would sanitize before you go in the bag. Empty the bag. Take out a towel, close the bag. And I just have these over here on the side. Open it, pull it off, test it. Perfect. All right, then, I'll just do it this way. A couple different things. 
got my steam towel. I put the like little diagonal pieces on the neck and then wrap it. I can see the nostrils clearly. Her whole face is covered. So I'm gonna press that steam towel in to show them I am steaming. Then I'm going to remove the rest of my exfoliation, exfoliation product. If you need to use a two by two to finish removing that product, you can. This goes in soil linen. I'm gonna put the lid on that exfoliant and this is going in the trash. Sorry, items to be disinfected. I had to touch my bags to fix them. So those are dirty, I need to sanitize my hands. Now I need to tone again. Toner over the trash on a two by two. Dab it on the face. Trash. Now I need to demonstrate massage. You have to show four massage movements. So I'm gonna get my spatula and my product. Product onto my hand, spatula goes in the trash. I'll go ahead and put the lid on my massage. You're gonna use effleurage to apply the product. So start with effleurage. It doesn't really matter what order you go in. Just make sure every single step of the massage is really distinct. They can tell what it's supposed to be. So I like to go in the same order every single time. Start with effleurage, like you're petting them almost. Then I go to effleurage on the forehead and move to friction. Do that a few times across the forehead. Then I do tapodamin around the eyes. Then I do petrissage, like pinching around the jawline and chin, and then finish with effleurage. And you would wanna take longer than that. So now I'm going to get rid of my massage cream, items to be disinfected. I need to remove my massage cream from the face. So I need a steam towel. I'm gonna to sanitize my hands. open my steam towel bag. And at any point in this, if I wanted to get product off of my hands, I would use a paper towel. Open it, pull it off, test it. Fold it. Right, remove the product. Uh-oh, my drape is coming off. So I'm gonna put this in soiled linen. And I need to fix her drape because it's falling. Ma'am, you're coming out of your drape. Please be still. All right, next we're going to tone. Got my toner, got a two by two over the trash. Toner on a two by two, close it, dab it on the face, throw it away. Now I need to mask. So I'm going to open my mask. I like to use the thick boy for this one because you need plenty of this product on the fan brush. So you're gonna get as much product as you possibly can. I'm not really going to because I don't wanna stain the mannequin because it's not my mannequin. I don't wanna stain her. As much product as you can directly onto that fan brush. This one goes in the trash. Go ahead and put that lid. If you're worried about product dripping, hold your fan brush over the trash. Now I'm gonna apply my product. A little bit to the forehead, a little bit to the cheeks. A little bit to the chin, a little bit to the nose. Now I'm gonna even it out. 
You're being graded on evenness. That's why it has to be a color is they wanna see that you evenly distribute all of the mask product. Items to be disinfected. This bag keeps falling. I'm gonna get rid of my mask product. Items to be disinfected. I'm gonna wait. And now I need to remove it with a steam towel. So I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Getting out my last steam towel. So now this bag needs to go in the trash. Pull it off. Test it. Okay. Trying to do this the fast version because I'm trying to get us out of here. All right, this is going into the soil linens. I dropped my water bottle, so I have to pick that up, which I'm done with it, so I don't have to put it back on my station. So I'm gonna pick it up, put it in items to be disinfected because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna wash my hands again. All right, finally, we need to tone one last time before we moisturize. So another two by two toner over the trash. Now this toner, I'm done with it. Instead of putting it back down, I'm putting it in items to be disinfected. I'm gonna apply this toner to the face. That's going in the trash. Now I need to moisturize. Open the product. Get some moisturizer on my hands. The spatula goes in the trash. Effleurage movements to apply the moisturizer. Lid back on my moisturizer. Items to be disinfected. I've got some extra two by twos I didn't use. Those are gonna go in the trash. I'm looking, I don't have anything else on my station except for my section of universal supplies. So I'm done. So I'm going to show them I'm done, sanitize my hands, step back to indicate I have finished. 